Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at, and I'm gonna show you the very easy installation on the Hopkins four and seven pole wiring harness. Adding a four and seven pole wiring harness to the back of your Colorado is gonna allow you to pull any type of trailer out there on the market, as long as it doesn't have a six pole on it. And if it has a six pole, you can get a seven to six pole adapter to pull those trailers too. Your four pole is gonna be here on the top, your seven pole is gonna be on the bottom, and it's gonna be just like a factory plug as if you were to get the hitch and wiring from the manufacturer. Now the reason why this kit is gonna work so well with the Colorado is because from the factory on some Colorados, you'll have a, uh, a blank plug that's here and it, you'll see the plastic uh, cover just sitting there. You can pop that out and you'll see a US car connector right behind it. All you have to do to get this installed is you pop that plug off Plug this connector in and it'll snap right into place and it'll hold on nice and firm for the years to come. Um, if your Colorado for some reason does not come with that plug blank, you can do one of two things. This kit's gonna come with a bracket to mount to the bottom of your, um, the bottom of your hitch. You can either mount it to the bottom of a hitch with a no drill bracket or you can uh, put it right here in the bottom of the bumper itself into the sheet metal. Um, it's really up to you, but chances are you're gonna have that access hole there and this is gonna snap right into place. Now, if you don't have the opening in your bumper like we do, there's gonna be one of two things waiting for you behind the bumper. It's either going to be a bundle of wires or it's going to be the blank US car connector with a cap on it that's just tied up to the back of the vehicle. If you have the US car connector, I would highly recommend using the template that comes with the kit so what you can do is you can take the bracket, put it up to your plastic, trace it out, and then your plastic will be perfect to just pop right through, and then you can put this plug into place. If you have just the wires, then we also have a kit that will, you can essentially wire up your own US car connector to be able to connect in the back of this. You'll just need to pick up whichever kit is gonna work best with your Colorado. Because we had that factory prep package our installation was very, very simple. You can get this swapped out in, in literally seconds. You pop that plug out, disconnect it, plug your new one in, and put it back into place. And then all you have to do is test your wiring. But with that being said, let's go ahead and pull it into the shop and show you how we did it. To begin our installation, uh, it's gonna be one of two ways to install this, this plug. Uh, the plugs are gonna be the same, but it's whether or not you need the pigtail. So, if you don't have a US car connector connected to the back side of this dummy plug, you're gonna need the, uh, essentially this plug with the pigtail on the back to be able to hardwire into the wires. Ours is prepped with the US car connector. So ours is as simple as pulling our wiring out, pop this gray tab back, push on this black tab, pull it out, and then we'll take our new plug Get it connected, lock our gray tab, and then fish it up, lock it into place, and you're finished. Now we can test out our wiring to make sure everything's working properly. We'll start with our left turn signal, right turn signal, our brake lights, and our headlights, which is going to be our running lights. Well guys, hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the Hopkins four and seven pole wiring harness is right for you and your 2023 Chevy Colorado. 